Hello class. In our last class, we discussed about electrolysis of copper sulfate solution. Now today we are going to discuss about electrolysis of acidified water using platinum electrodes and number two electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate solution using copper electrodes. In these two electrolysis the first one electrolysis of acidified water using platinum electrode is an inert electrode over here the electrode does not take part in the chemical reaction whereas in case of two electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate solution where you are using copper electrode which is an active electron and over here the electrodes also take part in the reaction now let us start with the electrolysis of acidified water in the electrolysis of acidified water okay acidified water using platinum electrodes okay now over here the electrolyte that we are reusing will be acidified water that means water in which we'll add small amount of dilute sulfuric acid this is added to make the water more conducting okay and electrodes we are going to use is platinum foils which is inert and it is connected by copper wires so we can see the diagram for the electrolysis of acidified water using platinum electrodes so we can see that on the left hand side we have got cathode and on the right hand side we have got anode okay on the left hand side we have got anode and on right hand side we have got cathode okay so this one is cathode and this one is anode okay now uh, in the middle in the middle we have got uh, an apparatus through which will add acidified water that is water and dilute sulfuric acid and what happens we'll connect this electrode that is cathode and anode to an electric cell through which we can pass electric current so what will happen as we pass electric current through water acidified water there is a we can find that a chemical decomposition of water will take place we'll see the reaction how it takes place and you'll find that at two tubes that is on anode above we'll find oxygen bubbles coming out and on hydrogen uh, bubbles we can see above the cathode now how hydrogen is produced at cathode and how oxygen is produced at anode can be shown by can be shown by uh, this reaction ionization of acidified water so water will ionize as H plus and OH minus ion and sulfuric acid ionize as H plus and sulfate ion now in this we have got one positive ion that is H plus and we have got two negative ion that is one is OH minus and other is SO4 2 minus now out of this since we don't have any competition we don't have the two types of ions so H plus will go to the cathode it will gain an electron it will form neutral hydrogen atom and two neutral hydrogen atom can form hydrogen gas so you'll find that there is a liberation of hydrogen gas at the there is a liberation of hydrogen gas at the cathode this one I am talking about okay reaction at anode now at anode since we have got two ions negative ions one is OH minus and other is SO4 to minus so there will be a competition between them so both of them will migrate to the anode but out of that only one will get preference and that preference will get by OH minus ion because in the electrochemical series OH occupies the lower position so OH will discharge first so OH minus at anode lose an electron and it will form OH neutral atom and 2OH will form water and oxygen neutral atom and oxygen neutral atom will combine with another to form oxygen so you'll find oxygen at anode so in the electrolysis of water acidified water using platinum electrodes you'll find that there is a liberation of hydrogen gas at cathode and uh, at anode we have got oxygen gas next we have got 
next uh, is electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate solution using copper electrodes now over here you need to know is what is the electrolyte used so electrolyte over here is aqueous copper sulfate solution CuSO4 and electrodes over here we are using copper electrode that means both the electrodes cathode as well as anode are copper okay and they are not inert electrodes now the diagram for this that means how electrolysis of copper sulfate is carried out so we have taken an electrolytic cell we have taken an electrolytic cell uh, this is an electrolytic cell an apparatus where we carry out the process electrolysis and in this uh, in this we have got cathode and anode okay cathode is connected to the negative terminal battery and anode is connected to the positive terminal battery now over here both cathode and anode they are made up of copper okay and over here the electrolyte that we are using is aqueous copper sulfate solution okay now what will happen once the current is start flowing through this aqueous copper sulfate solution aqueous copper sulfate solution what will happen aqueous copper sulfate CuSO4 will decompose into two ions copper ion and sulfate ion okay copper ion and sulfate ion now in this and since it is aqueous also there is also water so water will also give you H plus and OH minus ion now in this what will happen uh, copper ion that is produced okay copper ion that is produced copper sulfate will give you Cu2 plus and SO4 2 minus and water will give you H2 O will give you H plus and OH minus ion. Now in this you can see that we have got two positive ions and two negative ions. So positive ions are H plus and Cu2 plus whereas the negative ions are whereas the negative ions are the negative ions are SO4 2 minus and OH minus ion. Okay. Now out of this if you see if you see then between Cu2 plus and H plus both of them will migrate towards the cathode both of them Cu2 plus and H plus ions will migrate to the cathode but neither of them sorry uh, Cu2 plus at cathode gains an electrons and it will convert into copper okay now at anode what will happen both the sulfate and OH minus ion will migrate but neither of them are discharged this is due to the nature of the anode because at anode copper loses electron more easily than sulfate and OH minus ion because copper anode itself ionizes to give you Cu2 plus ions now over here what will happen if I want to show through this diagram once again so the copper ions that is produced in the solution aqua solution will go and deposit at the copper cathode by gaining electrons whereas at the same time since copper anode uh, anode is also made of copper so this anode will lose an electron and it will convert into copper ions so the blue color of this aqueous copper sulfur solution will maintain neutrality the copper ions if it goes to the cathode this copper anode will lose an electron and convert into copper ions so this neutrality is maintained over there okay this neutrality is maintained so you'll find that at anode keep dissolving during the re reaction as well as copper ions are forms okay whereas at cathode you'll find pink or reddish brown copper is deposited okay so these are the observations that we can see now today's assignment assignment 6 in the electrolysis of acidified water mention the following electrolyte used electrode ionization reaction then you draw a neat diagram for that then reaction at cathode how the reaction at cathode takes place and how the reaction at anode takes place question number two during the electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate solution using copper electrodes name the following electrolyte used name of the electrode that we used then ions present what are the different ions positive and negative ions that are produced reaction at cathode and reaction at anode and finally the diagram so complete this and send it in my mail.